YouTube, Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator, and here today with a new book haul. So you guys, I want to share some things, just a couple items I got for Christmas, but the rest are items that were sent to me, and I can't wait to show them to you. I even have a box that I haven't opened yet. So you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get into this book haul. First thing I wanna show you guys is this Color Your Year. This is a page a day calendar. We'll just go ahead and look at some of the pages together. I'll just flip through here. And on the back of every sheet, it's blank, which is nice. Then you could use it as note paper. You guys, look at this one. Kind things I said today. I love the succulents and cactus. Look at that. So adorable. And then we have the colored background. Little butterfly. Here we go. There's so, so many. Of course, 365. Something to color every day something to save to color. I mean, ultimately, this is a coloring book. Look at the cupcakes. Yes. I really like this, you guys. I'm really looking forward to having this out and coloring more. That's definitely one of my goals for 2017, amongst many others is I wanna take a little more time for myself, even if it's just 10 minutes a day to color. I definitely want to color every single day. Okay, so that was the first one. And then this is a book I got for Christmas. My siblings and I, we each got one of these from our parents. This is called Clean Soups, Simple Nourishing Recipes for Health and Vitality. This is by Rebecca Katz. And there's lots of good recipes in here, really wholesome recipes salmon coconut chowder, Latin American chicken soup with greens, congee, what else here? Oh, so there's a category, traditional healing soups. I'm one of those people that always starts from the back. You know, it just works better that way. So we have healing soups, caramelized fennel and chickpea soup with saffron, roasted heirloom tomato soup, Ruby Red Beet Soup. I'll show you guys some of the pictures. Silk Road Pumpkin Soup. Some of these are pretty fancy, much fancier than I usually make, but you know, it's always nice to up your game a little bit and make some soups that are different than just, you know, your traditional ones. Oh, so that was the blended soup category. Thai Coconut Broth. Magic Mineral Broth. So there's a whole section on broths. Talking about making broth work for you. And this page is really informative. Broth and stock pairings. So it tells you that, you know, what sort of things you can mix. Like for example, roasted apple and butternut squash soup uses the Magic Mineral Broth. And then you have some soups like the Moroccan Carrot Soup it can use a magic mineral broth, or it can use a chicken magic mineral broth, or it can use a nourishing bone broth or a pasteurized beef bone broth. So some of these soups have interchangeable broths. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this book because I really do like to make a lot of soups in the colder months. Next, this came from an artist named Michelle Collar and she asked if she could send these to me and she is an independent artist and these are her first two adult coloring books that she put out which are for sale on Amazon and she also included a nice note and card. So her first book is Whatever's Clever and this is an adult coloring book and we'll just look at a couple pages together. Here's one, Little Mermaid. And here she has a big, like, lizard or chameleon. Some of the faces in this book are really cute. Look at her very playful eyes. And she was encouraged by one of her friends to make an adult coloring book. 
So she made two, and she's making more. Now here's another one. This one is called Whatsoever. The coloring book for adults who want to color whatever. We have a fish, and here we have a mermaid, and we see her throughout a lot of the pages. And here we have a little fairy. So these are two books that she sent me and asked if I'd show on my channel. Next, we have, and this came from Uli, formerly known as International Arrivals, a little cute desk calendar and notepad. This came in the mail along with a press release letter because they have officially changed their name. And this is really cute. It's like a big matchbook almost. And then you can flip it back and there's a little stand here. Now I'm not sure if these are going to be for sale on their website, but it's a calendar and notebook. And then it just, you know, it just has the months. And then when you're done with the months, you could just rip the pages out if you want and it's a notebook. So this was just a cute little gift to announce their name change. I will be sharing more Uli items here on my channel this year. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the new products. They are such a fun company. If you guys haven't checked out the products that they've had in the past uh, under the name International Arrivals, I'll go ahead and link some videos here. You guys will love their fun products. They are amazing, great quality you guys will not be disappointed. So check out some of those videos, go to their website. You guys will really love their company. They're so great. And next I have something here. Let's see what it is. Ah, this is called 808 Conversation Starters for Couples. Spark curious chats during dinner time, date night, or at any moment. And I thought this book just sounded fun. Let's look at a couple together. Okay. If you were to write a Wikipedia entry, what subject would you choose? What would you like to do with your partner that you've never done before? What is a personal accomplishment that you're especially proud of? Approximately how many books a year do you read? What's the title of your most recent favorite and why did you like it so much? So this book is just full of like quizzes and conversation starters and I just thought it looked fun. Next we have this book called Color Couture. It is an adult coloring book and it is large. This is an artist edition book by Maud Farrell Chauvet. I hope I said your name right. This is a blue star adult coloring book and it is really nice. Ugh, you guys, it's I just cringe when I get books from the post office that have been bent. I mean, this book was sent in a cardboard mailer, but still it's slightly damaged here along the spine. That just really bugs me. Anyways, the book is beautiful. It has a beautiful white clean sort of texture with the nice dotted gold foil and the nice gold foil line around the front of the book. Very pretty. Let's look at a few pages together. Here's the first page, and these are just one-sided, very large pages. Ooh, I like this one. All faceless images, I believe. Oh, look at this one with the strawberries. Ooh, I really like the food ones. Let's look at one more. All right, you guys, well, that was a sneak peek of Color Couture. And then here's the box that I haven't opened, so I don't know what's inside, you guys. Note to self, always have scissors when you're doing an unboxing, like what was I thinking, right? Okay, you guys, so I got the box open. Let's see what's inside. Here's the first one, it's called Pitcher Cook. See, make, eat. I just thought this book sounded so fun. And it's just a bunch of pictures, you guys. Like, for example, Annie's mashed potatoes. Everything is illustrated in this book. Well, and then there's some directions down here on the bottom. This book is an artistic version of a cookbook. Like, just look at all the pictures, you guys.
I just wanted something totally different. Elaborated fried rice, chana masala, eggplant parmesan, white lasagna. Look at this. They show the total construction of the lasagna. Look at this. I really like this picture. You see that? The order of what needs to go where. The total construction of it. And then, of course, notes down below. Very interesting. I really like this fresh approach. Spicy chili, gazpacho, cool as a cucumber soup, thunder soup. There's soups and stews. There's home fries. Breakfast category. Of course, I'm looking at this backwards. Let me give you guys a little more direction here. Okay, and this is by Katie Shelley. So, we have breakfast, we have soups and stews, hefty meals, sides and salads, fast snacks, sauces and dips, drinks, and desserts. Let's go back to desserts. That starts on page 96. Okay, desserts. Oh, look at the little cherry. So cute. We have Stacy's Blueberry Cobbler, Rupert's Chocolate Cake. Just have to show you guys a couple more of these pictures. I love it. I love it because it's so not boring. It's so different. Sweet Kugel. What else do we have? Candy Ginger. Grace's Kiwi. Pavlova. I have to stay away from that one, you guys. I can't, I can't eat kiwi. I love it, but I can't eat it. I'm allergic. Banana bread. Afogado. Rice pudding. And then, of course, we have the index in the back. There's vegetarian recipes. They put dots next to the vegetarian recipes, vegan recipes, gluten-free recipes, dairy-free recipes, and no sugar added recipes included with this as well. Again, picture book, See, Make, Eat by Katie Shelley. Okay, let's see what else we got in the box. I think I might have been a little um, hungry. Yeah, a little hungry when I was picking these out. This is called Crazy for Breakfast Sandwiches. 101 delicious handheld meals hot out of your sandwich maker. I have a sandwich maker and I also like to make sandwiches in my foreman grill as well as on the stove and on our griddle we got because I got a new griddle for Christmas, you guys. Big heavy cast iron griddle. I'm like so happy. Now I can make more than, you know, two or three sandwiches at a time, which is nice for a family of five. So let's take a look at this. And this is by Jessica Harlan. So I'm always looking for new breakfast ideas, new lunch ideas. You guys know how it is. Like eventually you end up eating the same things over and over again. Let me read you some of these, you guys, and I'm not seeing any pictures. So I'm just gonna read you some of the categories that we have. The history of the breakfast sandwich, how to make one very good. Okay, we have classic sandwiches and beyond. Things like egg and cheese muffin, simple fried egg on toast, sausage biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, some simple ones, ham and brie, croissant witch, <laughs> croissant witch, bacon waffle stack, that sounds kind of good, Benedict to go, the New Yorker, breakfast burrito, yum, Denver omelet hash brown stack, the Hawaiian, green eggs and ham, the Elvis, okay, what is the Elvis? The Elvis is bread, peanut butter, bacon, a bacon lattice patty, and it tells you, I guess, how to do that on page 101, and a banana. Steak and eggs. Okay, then we have meatless mornings, which are some meatless options. Spinach and Swiss sandwich, yum. Savory corn cakes with salsa and pepper jack. Soak, SoCal avocado sandwich, yum. Egg sandwich with herbed ricotta and arugula. I mean, so many, you guys. This book just sounds really fun to me and it's a new year and I want to try out some new things and I just want to just have fun and sometimes we're just eating because we need to eat and then we're eating the same old things and I just want to pick those moments where I'm going okay I want to have a really good sandwich or sometimes I'm just going to eat because it's like I'm hungry I need to eat and I'm too busy to really think about enjoying it like to the fullest but I want to do more enjoying of my food and less just eating because I need to you know what I mean? But yeah, you guys, this book looks really fun. What else do we have? I think I have two more things in here, you guys. Again, another cookbook, 
baking book. This is called Classic Snacks, made from scratch. This is 70 homemade versions of your favorite brand name treats. Okay, let's see what sort of things they have in here. We have cookies and things like Nutter Butters, Fudge Strips, Oreos, cakey treats, things like Entenmann's Donuts, Hostess, Orange Cupcakes, Snowballs, Twinkies, cheesy snacks. We have Cheez-Its, Goldfish Crackers. You guys, there's even a Doritos recipe in here. What? Cheese popcorn. Okay, salty snacks. We have things like Fritos and Cool Ranch Doritos, Corn Nuts, Wheat Thins, Funyuns. We have ice cream treats, things like Klondike bars, toasted almond bars, pudding pops, fudge sickles. And we have a sweets and, oh, there's more, you guys. I can go on and on. And a sweets and um, candies category, a fruit filled treats category, fried and frozen snacks category, dips and spreads. There's so much in here. And guess what, you guys? There's pictures. Like, look at these strawberry fruit roll-ups. I always wanted to learn how to make fruit roll-ups for my kids. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to eat those really healthy ones from, like, the co-op or whatever. And I really like those. And I'd like to be able to make some of those for my kids. Like, these strawberry ones look really good. Let's see what else we have here. So there's not pictures of everything, but cheesy snacks. We have some homemade goldfish crackers. What else? I just went past the Twinkies. You guys know what those look like. How to make your own animal crackers. I mean, this book just sounded like so much fun. I just had to see it. Had to see it. Cherry toaster strudel. Hostess cherry pie. The puddings. The caramel popcorn. What is that? Um, what's that called, you guys? Caramel corn? Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches. Again, I really like fun cookbooks. And of course, we can find everything online. We can find everything on Pinterest and everywhere else. But it's something nice about having this book that you can bring to bed or wherever. And you can just leaf through it and you can read it. And I really like paper. I love to thumb through pages. I like books. I like the smell of books. And... I don't know like online is amazing like everything online is amazing but I still love paper and I don't want paper to go away so yeah look at these you guys salty snacks these are pretzel sticks I love pretzels okay you guys let's get to the very last book and it is called Instacraft fun and simple projects for adorable gifts decor and more again I thought this book sounded really cute okay so we have things like making patterned envelopes, berry stationery, how to make berry stationery, like how to stain your own paper, time capsule terrarium, bright light ornaments, oh a little retro recycled trivet, you guys know the trivets, the things you put under your pots when you put them on the table or your dishes. Wrapped notebooks. Tic Tac Spice Rack to go. Look at all the washi tape, you guys. What can we do with our washi? So many things, right? Then there's the E6000 glue. I've heard a lot of you talk about that. Paint Swatch Key Hooks. I always thought it would be cute to do something with the little paint swatches. And I've seen people do some really cute things. Fade away rolling pin. Where you do an ombre um, effect on the handles. No tie, tie-dye makeup bag. Stocking flower pot. That's kind of cute, you guys. So you take a pair of tights and then you just put it on a terracotta pot. Scissors, tights, and a flower pot. That's kind of cute. Sweetheart Sugar Jar. Oh, that's so cute. Look, you guys. It's like the pretty cobalt blue, and then you can see the sugar underneath. So this is Instacraft, you guys, and that is the end of my book haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more book hauls in the future, please hit the thumbs up button. Share with me down in the comments below, and if you haven't yet, hit that little button to subscribe. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.